TLDR semicolon, you do not need programming for cybersecurity. However, if you like to program, then I would choose a platform that you enjoy and learn the languages that you will need to get in order to succeed. In this video, I'll be going over some cybersecurity niches that you definitely will need programming for, some cybersecurity niches that it would be useful to know coding, but not 100% necessary to know coding in order to succeed, and then some niches that honestly it'd be a huge waste of your time to learn programming if you want to get into that cybersecurity niche and you despise those semicolons, well then have no fear. You will not need programming. The ability to read code and understand what's going on would be extremely helpful, especially if you're working in say compliance or something of that sort where you need to be able to read the code. Cybersecurity draws from three different fields. So it's system administration, network administration, and programming. And you can specialize in any one of these three major tiers and do perfectly fine. So if you want to do network security, then you would really need to go deep into routers, which is network architecture and how all of those work together and also how to harden those systems and harden those systems to where they still operate with other systems, which can get extremely complicated. Or maybe you just want to work with system administration and do Linux stuff and harden Linux servers or just work with best practices. In that case, you're, you're really not going to need to know programming. However, if you want to go on the programming side and say build applications, then you are going to need to know programming. My cat right there will appreciate it if you smash that like button. Thank you. <laughs> And so let's get into the video. Three cybersecurity fields that you will absolutely need programming for are application security. And this is because you're going to be reviewing and testing the code for vulnerabilities. And this is a really high paying job if you want to get into that. So if you want to do secure software engineering, I know this doesn't come as a surprise. You're going to need to know code to do software engineering. I am making a video on the types of code that you will need to know that will be linked here. And also if you want to become a, a malware analyst, and these you're definitely going to need to know good programming languages, especially in C, because that is what most operating systems are built in. And as a malware analyst, you're going to need to understand the mechanics underneath the hood. So you're going to need to know how a Trojan horse works and how it interacts with the network and the operating system and also the programming and the code and how malicious payloads can be injected into a server side client and malware can compromise not only the network, the programming, but also the operating system. So you're going to need to be well versed in all three tiers if you want to become a malware analyst. And also if you want to do reverse engineering, you're going to need to know code because you can't really reverse engineer something. You don't know how it works in the first place. So knowing programming in these instances will definitely give you a big leg up and learning programming will definitely increase your income compared to the other types of cybersecurity jobs are out there because it's much more difficult cybersecurity niches that would be useful to know but not really necessary 100% to get a job would be a cybersecurity analyst you could use Python in order to automate a lot of your tasks and if you know Python you'd be like well I can create code to look at all of these logs and do the analysis and build the report for me then that would be extremely useful to know. Another job that it would be useful to know coding for would be a penetration tester and that's because you're going to want to make custom made tools. Instead of being stuck to say Metasploit or Burp Suite and Kali Linux tools, you can just create your own tool that you need on the go. And that is very useful and you'll definitely be able to command higher wages. Some cybersecurity niches that you will absolutely probably not need to know how to write code for, however it will be useful if you know how to read code, is compliance and that is because mostly you're probably going to be auditing things or you're going to be creating guidelines on different technologies. And while it is useful to know how to read code in these instances so you can create better guidelines and then you can audit more correctly, to be able to write fully functional programs is not necessary and if you look at any job description none of them will require you to know scripting because you're going to be mostly doing paperwork so if you enjoy paperwork compliance is definitely for you cybersecurity management while you're not going to need to know code to be able to do cybersecurity management. This is you are going to need to know how to manage people, which could often be much more difficult than learning code. Anomaly based behaviors and you just don't know why. Honestly, I would find management much more difficult than learning code because there's not a set of rules and everyone is different 
and it takes a certain type of personality to do well in cybersecurity management, but thankfully, if you're that person, you don't need to know code. Also, if you become a cybersecurity architect, although it would be useful if you are developing software, of course, if you are setting up secure networks or secure operating systems or the other two tiers, network administration and system administration, then you're not going to need to know code for this. However, you will need a really deep in-depth on like how operating systems work, how networks work, how they all interact together, and how you can build a secure architecture. And I would focus more on those things if you want to become an architect than learning how to do Python as you're going to be the brains of everything and not really the doer of things as an architect. If you do know how to read code and then you know some basics, it does make it easier for communication if you want to communicate with someone because there's nothing worse than trying to communicate your ideas to someone who has no idea what you're talking about. And it's not because they aren't intelligent, they just don't have a reference of what you are saying. So keep that in mind. And some good programming languages for cybersecurity if you do decide to learn how to code but there are gonna be PHP, which is for web servers, JavaScript, because it is super common JavaScript and used all over the globe. And it also has a lot of tags. So if you want to go into the malware analysis, learning JavaScript is gonna be really important. Also, you could do Python. It's concise, easy to learn, and widely used everywhere. C and C++ are really important because that's what most operating systems are built on. So if you wanna to get to the core of an operating system and find out vulnerabilities, C is the programming language to go. HTML is a markup language and super easy to learn. You could probably learn it in a solid 30 days of consistent work. It's not technically a real programming language. It's a markup language. So it's for web pages and how they look. However, there's a lot of attacks that happen because of HTML. Create, in order to find these attacks, it'd be really useful to learn HTML. It's pretty easy. It's kind of low hanging fruit when it comes to learning programming languages for cybersecurity. Another great programming language to learn for cybersecurity would be SQL. And I did do a review on this, the Google Data Analytics course. It's a great primer for SQL and databases. So I definitely would suggest it like to get a base knowledge of databases because a lot of attacks are because of databases. If you can get access to the database, you can manipulate data, you can retrieve data, steal trade secrets. You can do tons of things if you can get into the database by SQL manipulation. And it's not that difficult to learn. So SQL is pretty high in value and pretty, it's not that difficult to learn. The assembly language, assembly language is a big maybe. It really just depends. If you go into the internet of things and embedded systems, then assembly language can be useful. However, if you're not gonna go into those things, it's kind of useless. I do have a video that goes into deeper depth of all of these programming languages up here if you want to check that out. Um, so and if you want to learn how to program, for cybersecurity, I do have links below to various courses of these commonly used programming languages. And if you learn any of these and build a portfolio, have no problem getting a job. I wouldn't, don't worry, have no fear. Like this, these are really valuable skills that employers really want. And if you build a portfolio, it shows initiative, enthusiasm, and that you can actually do things on your own without someone holding your hand, which is very important. And remember, cybersecurity is really a lot of different things put together. There are so many niches you can go into, but the three main things that you're going to need to know is definitely networking, system administration, basic system administration work, and also ethics, which people kind of overlook. It's not all about just hacking, but also how ethical are you with the data that you do have, especially if you are in a higher level position of these things you'll do perfectly fine and please leave any comments below thank you for watching goodbye